Hi, I'm Heidi Nessa, and we're on the heart of Minneapolis and excited for you to join in on a tour of a 100-year-old home that's been brought back to its original grandeur thanks to a team of elite home and design experts right here on The Art of Home. This is The Art of Home. Each week we take you on a private tour of some of the Twin Cities' most distinctive homes and hear from the creative and talented people behind the design. From lofts to lake living, from ultra contemporary to timeless traditionals, this is the art of home. This Tudor-style home is nestled in a beautiful historic neighborhood in Minneapolis and was built in 1911. It has a history of its own in various owners, renters, and remodels, but today it's shining bright again after a renovation that involved great vision, precision expertise, and all of the design savvy necessary to not only bring it up to date, but to restore it to its old world charm. We're really excited to be the first to see this masterpiece, and I welcome Jeremy Rupp as the developer on this project as he gives us a history and background of this home. Jeremy, thank you so much for being here today. It's really thank nice you to very meet much. you. Now, as a developer, this project must be a dream. It is. It's very much a dream. As a developer, we look for opportunities, and to have the opportunity to have something like this is it's literally a dream. So, And it's 100 years old. It and is. so how many projects like this do you do a year? Uh, we do like this, just a handful, okay. and then up to, say, 20 that are smaller. Incredible. So it's yep. really a vision that you have when you see a property? Yes. Yes, it very much is. Yeah, assembling the team, and we have always uh, real estate agents, we have designers, we have general contractors, and investors and the, the entire team is really what makes it happen. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, next we're going to go in and see the interior of this beautiful home and, and meet many of your team. So we're excited for that. Thanks Excellent. so much for having us in today. Yep, let's go. Jeremy, this house is all about location. It is very much so. So being in Lowry Hill, we're just a few minutes from pretty much everything, downtown, uptown, and Lake of the Isles. And who doesn't like that? Oh my gosh, and it's a beautiful, beautifully situated here in this neighborhood. It is, it's very quiet within that combination, which is kind of unheard of. And a corner lot. It is, yep, it's about a third of an acre. Oh, so. and it, this Tudor style home, and tell us again, this back part of the house is gorgeous. It is, it has a, a, an amazing heated driveway that goes right into a carriage house, which is very uncommon, and uh, it's all redone as well and oh. very beautiful. So a total of three-car garages plus living space upstairs. I love that. Exactly. Well, let's go take a look at the total main level of this home right now and we'll get more details. Let's do it. Interior designer Billy Marie Theraldson describes the inspiration and planning for this massive project. Kind of how we get started um, is coming into a space, you know, once the measurements and the logistics are sort of figured out, is um, trying to do these dimensional drawings or renderings. And, and it's a process to get to the final drawing. There's layers and layers of tissue. Um, you figure out scale in those perspective drawings. You figure out proportion you try to actually get an overall feeling of the space. It's not so much technical as it is you try to convey a feeling. And in working with this particular team, it was very effective because they also got the feeling. They weren't asking me for technical uh, drawings or anything like that. They got the feeling and were able to run with it. We kept the project um, moving quickly because of that, and they were able to improvise wh when needed because obviously in a house of this age, nothing's really perfect. We're in this beautiful kitchen and we're going to get a tour of it in a minute, but take us back to what this house was when you found it. Yeah, great. So this is a hundred year old home and as all of them do, they have a history. And originally it was owned by a prestigious Pillsbury from what we believe and then it turned into an apartment building. And then it had a few other 
great lives and then we finally got it. Wow, what a process. And some of the main architectural features as we're moving through this house, I know there's a lot of consistency. Mm -hmm. So about 7,000 of the square feet are all original hardwood. We have a, an amazing mahogany staircase that's original. Oh. Uh, in the basement there's 100 year old hand hewn beams, oh. so there's a lot of just really cool stuff. Incredible, and amazing woodwork and paneling throughout. It's absolutely gorgeous. There it is, yep. The general contractor on the job, Barry Rowetter, with some of the great opportunities this home presented. With house this size, the team all felt it important to include a tuck under garage. And we felt that because the house is so large that we could sacrifice a small portion of the living space for a tuck under garage. In addition to the tuck under garage, there's a two car detached garage, giving the home a total of three cars parking space. What we've ended up with now as a final product is a heated one car tuck under garage with a heated driveway approach to it, a heated two car garage in the carriage house with the living space above that. Stay tuned as we continue our tour of the main level. Find your place this September at the Parade of Homes, where dream homes come true. Check out the Green Path Energy Efficient Home Tour in partnership with Xcel Energy and pick up your free guidebook at Holiday. What's your mood? Now you can shop lighting for every room in your home. With hundreds of unique finds, Lappin Lighting is your escape to the unusual. Visit the 5,000 square foot designer showroom in downtown Minneapolis's historic warehouse district, one block off Washington and 394 on 3rd Avenue, or online at lappinlighting.com. For 85 years, Lappin Lighting has been the full service, family owned experts in lighting for every mood. Come mingle with us. Mingle Cabinetry Furnishings and Design, together with Studio M Interiors, offers you everything you want for your home under one roof. Explore state-of-the-art products in full-size room displays. At Mingle, you'll find innovative products and creative solutions for every inch of the home. Let Mingle's award-winning design team awaken your signature style. Open to the public just one mile east of 494 on Highway 55. Mingle and Studio M, everything you want for your home. Performance Pool & Spa is Minnesota's number one pool builder and retail store. In fact, Performance Pool & Spa are the experts in anything for the backyard, from pools to spas, landscaping, and more. When you think of backyard fun, come to Performance Pool & Spa for the best selection and the most experienced team. We have four locations in the metro, Woodbury, Oakdale, Burnsville, and now in Plymouth. Learn more at performancepools.com. There's a revolution taking place in home technology, and it's happening directly on your smartphone or tablet. ResTech is the Twin Cities electronic lifestyle experts. New construction or remodel, ResTech is there to help. From the initial technology consultation, system design, implementation, and ongoing support. See what ResTech can do for you at the new 25,000 square foot Mingle Design Center, just east of 494 on Highway 55 in Plymouth. ResTech is your trusted technology system partner. Find your place this September at the Parade of Homes, where dream homes come true. Check out the Green Path Energy Efficient Home Tour in partnership with Xcel Energy and pick up your free guidebook at Holiday. Welcome back to the Art of Home as we explore further with developer Jeremy Rupp. The hardest part of the process is just getting started. Sometimes when you're in a home, there's not much to work with, but fortunately with this house, there was a lot of great clues on how we should. Instead of just working it against the architecture, we tried to work with it. That gave us the inspiration for the kitchen, granite selections, paint colors, and everything kind of spun off just a few elements that we were given. Jeremy, the home really has such a modern feel. It does, that was part of the opportunity slash challenge. So what we tried to do is adjust the floor plan to make it feel like a suburb type atmosphere yet still have prominent old world charm. And we did that with some subtle yet very uh, dramatic changes and having a great room here from the kitchen to the living room to the sunroom while still maintaining the eating kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then we moved a bathroom to have a butler pantry to go to the formal dining room 
and we keep pieces like, or we found pieces like this antique piece right here to really bring it back to speed. Oh, and it works so well here in the kitchen. And take us through a few of the details in the kitchen. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, there's a very long list, obviously, but we tried to have era-specific uh, cabinetry and colors and so forth with fixtures. And the countertops, obviously, probably weren't granite back then, but we tried to have colors and textures that fit that era as well. And then I really honestly feel like this completely ties it together, having it be the same year as the home. Wonderful chef's table that's antique that really does fit with the era. The windows, I know, are gorgeous. They provide beautiful light. They do, and the ones that aren't original were matched to be original, so there's a lot of thought about pretty much every detail. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, your design team did such a great job they in did. here, and even I have to point out the backsplash because it's heavy, yet it's light, and it seems new, but it really is that old world feel. It really is. It's, it's pretty amazing. Gorgeous. And if, as we go into this living room, mm -hmm. we see that paneling again. We do. that. It's called judges paneling, and it's over six feet tall, and to be honest with you, I've never seen it before. Um, be that tall, that is, and it's just... It's absolutely amazing. It's a great open concept. And then through there is the sunroom or office or really transitional space. Mm -hmm. And it has the original terrazzo floor that we uh, rehabilitated and it just turned out ridiculously oh, amazing. Yeah. And those views are gorgeous. Now as we move back through the entry, there is what used to be a ballroom. There is. It's massive. I don't know how to fully use the space, to be honest with you, and it's it's truly a ballroom that we're gonna have be a formal living room. I love it as a formal living room, and with so many family spaces in this home, it's it's a perfect setting. It really is. So with some of the features in there, we've still got the the um, ceiling work as well as the moldings. And we have the, uh, the original marble uh, fireplace splash as well, which is in perfect condition, which is just kind of crazy. It's such a stunning color. It is. You can see that you can either access the dining room through the butler's pantry or of course your guests would probably enter it through the grand hallway. It's a long room and it's almost a room and a third. Uh, knowing that the dining room would probably, you'd want to be able to seat up to 20 people. This house is large enough to entertain large groups and so we wanted to make sure the dining room also fit that type of scale. Throughout the home, there were several openings that either had to be closed up or opened, which meant that we needed to match some of the existing millwork. In order to do so, because the millwork we needed isn't available on a local shelf, we had to have some special knives made and a shaper tool used to match the existing profile of the new wood to the old wood. Coming up next, the upper level suites of this magnificent home. Find your place this September at the Parade of Homes, where dream homes come true. Check out the Green Path Energy Efficient Home Tour in partnership with Xcel Energy and pick up your free guidebook at Holiday. Hi, Shannon Scrella with Hirschfield's Window Fashions. Whether you're currently building a new home or redecorating, consider adding motorized operating systems to your new Hunter Douglas blinds and shades. Hunter Douglas motorized window treatments are perfect for hard to reach window locations or multiple groups of window coverings where convenient and accessible operating is needed. Open and close, raise and lower, adjust slats, vanes and louvers, all from a handheld remote, wall switch, or with your iPad. Adding motorization to your Hunter Douglas window treatments also eliminates the need of cords a safer home for children and pets. To learn more about Hunter Douglas products, visit a Hirschfield's window fashion specialist in store or shop at home. We'll bring the showroom to you. It feels good to be in tune with your environment, to see its true beauty, experience its tranquility. What cannot be seen is often most beautiful. Phantom screens are out of sight until you need them. Their true beauty is that they are not screens. They are phantom screens.
Most paints have color that sits on the surface, but nothing beats Benjamin Moore's Color Lock technology that locks color right in, no matter how often you wash it. Color Lock technology, exclusively from your Benjamin Moore retailer. Find your place this September at the Parade of Homes, where dream homes come true. Check out the Green Path Energy Efficient Home Tour in partnership with Xcel Energy and pick up your free guidebook at Holiday. Real estate agent Peter Hagen continues our tour as we move to the upper level of this home and its modern and charming amenities. Peter, this is absolutely gorgeous. Coming down that hallway is breathtaking, but take us from the stairway into this upper level. Well, of course, we've got the original grand staircase, which is made of mahogany. We've got um, the junior suite just off to the left as you come up the stairwell, which has its own dedicated bathroom, a fireplace, a sitting area, and a large walk-in closet. I love that. <clears throat> That's really great for a mother-in-law, a returning a child from college, a adult, nanny. Right. a nanny. Fantastic. Yep. So, and then across the hallway, we've got two large, spacious bedrooms, with also with walk-in closets. One of them actually has um, an attached bathroom as well. The bathroom is dedicated for both those bedrooms. Okay, and they're beautifully appointed bedrooms as well as that bathroom is gorgeous. Right. Yep, and then if, as you're walking down the hallway, you'll see the beautiful barrel vault um, and then the chandeliers, which were hand-selected by our design team. Um, coming through, we find the owner's suite. Of course, we've got the beautiful sitting area here with the dual-sided fireplace. The, the dedicated bed area, of course, wrapped in windows. And walking through, you'll find one of the largest uh, walk-in closets that I've ever seen, as well as another area that could be used for an office, an exercise room. Um, it's, everything's well lit with a lot of natural light skylights. The master bath is one of my favorite spaces. We wanted to give it a sense of luxury, but also keep it really classic to fit with the house. Uh, keeping it special, because there is two suites in this house, we wanted to make sure that people knew they were in the master. We used a lot of Carrera marble, knowing that it's just kind of a classic stone and has a spa-like tranquility as well, so it was kind of just the most appropriate thing to put in there. The master shower is something special. We used, again, the Carrera marble in there as well, but not only that, we have some modern features like steam heads, rain shower, um, five different body sprays, so you have all those modern luxuries, but it's in a really tranquil environment. We use the classic clawfoot tub versus a big jacuzzi jet tub just for more of a soaking quiet feature next to the fireplace. So you can have a couple different experiences within that room, um, whether it's the soaking tub, steam shower, and then we also put in antique vanities to give it kind of that historical charm. Upstairs, additional bedrooms, so let's go up there and take a look. Okay. Okay, well, it's like a teenage retreat up here. It's it is, unbelievable. Isn't it? What an awesome area. So, yeah, you come up off of the stairwell, which, by the way, is the second stairwell in the home. It actually used to be a third, which was closed off and made into a pantry and another um, little office area off the master suite. But coming up here though, we've got a little public area that could be used for a sitting area, TV type area. We've of course got this original room with the original beams, original hardwood floors, and then two more bedrooms and a bathroom. It is, uh, the, the two bedrooms are totally different, really large, and the bathroom is so unique. The stonework and everything it really lends itself to that old world feel. Old world meets modern function, 
and amenities and everything really is gelling together to create kind of a, um, a perfect marriage, if, as it were, uh, for our current consumers who want that classic feel but also want uh, the old world charm. Well, and as a real estate agent, you know this family space is so important too. This, this loft area, this living space, that could be really so transitional. Yeah, absolutely. And this room could actually be used for any number of things. Well, I love the wood. It's, it's really gorgeous. In the fourth floor game room, there's some beautifully crafted cedar beams that somebody years ago had taken a lot of time and put them together well. Well, through the years of neglect and abuse, they and remodeling, I suspect, they were deteriorated, which meant that we had to match some of that existing woodwork with new. In doing so, that meant that our painter had to condition our new wood to match the old wood so that it had that old appearance, and the room turned out just beautiful, I think. Stay tuned as we see the lower level entertaining spaces and billiards, right here on The Art of Home. Come mingle with us. Mingle Cabinetry Furnishings and Design, together with Studio M Interiors, offers you everything you want for your home under one roof. Explore state-of-the-art products in full-size room displays. At Mingle, you'll find innovative products and creative solutions for every inch of the home. Let Mingle's award-winning design team awaken your signature style. Open to the public just one mile east of 494 on Highway 55. Mingle and Studio M, everything you want for your home. My kitchen was ugly. It was ugly. I went to my neighbor's house one day and she had these gorgeous granite countertops. She told me that she had done it with granite transformations. They came in and fit the countertops right over my old countertops. These are scratch resistant and stain resistant and heat resistant. When I walked into my kitchen for the first time, it was just like, wow, <laughs> these are gorgeous. Save up to $700 on granite and cabinet refacing now through Wednesday. There's a revolution taking place in home technology, and it's happening directly on your smartphone or tablet. ResTech is the Twin Cities electronic lifestyle experts. New construction or remodel, ResTech is there to help. From the initial technology consultation, system design, implementation, and ongoing support. See what ResTech can do for you at the new 25,000 square foot Mingle Design Center, just east of 494 on Highway 55 in Plymouth. ResTech is your trusted technology system partner. Most paints have color that sits on the surface, but nothing beats Benjamin Moore's Color Lock technology that locks color right in, no matter how often you wash it. Color Lock technology, exclusively from your Benjamin Moore retailer. Welcome back to our tour of this stunning lower level with real estate agent, Peter Hagen. So we're in the lower level of this home and this is a four level home and this is really amazing. Isn't it? And uh, the first time I came into this home, we walked downstairs and I saw this room and I thought, this is an English pub style billiard room. You've got the hand scraped beams, the original wood panels, of course the fireplaces one here and then one out in the living area. And then of course we've added some modern amenities. We've got the, um, the brand new wet bar in the back of the area, as well as granite countertops. When you look around, you can really see that really good marriage of modern amenities with the classic elegance of 1911. Oh, and again, the lighting everywhere in this house is just spot on. Now when you walk it out of here, you're really in the main area. Of Correct. This. Yep, this is kind of off of the main family living area of the lower level. Which I can see tons of potential. Again, that really unique fireplace and that woodwork continues. The woodwork continues. This is actually Douglas fir um, that was um, original to the home in 1911. Well, a beautiful finishing touch to a wonderful home tour. Thank you so much. Yep, thank you. There's over 91 just light fixtures in this home, not including plumbing or doorknobs or any of that stuff, just light fixtures. So that can be an overwhelming process in itself. Um, 
we carry uh, several different lighting lines at our studio, so we were able to do it all via catalog versus running around, which made the job a lot easier. Some of my favorites are probably the most simple is the star fixtures you'll see and in the hallway, some of the sconces, they're just a simple star special plate and a plain bulb. They're pretty, pretty simple, but they're really special. I think you'll enjoy them as well. And I'm absolutely in love with the lights in the master bedroom and bathroom. Those are probably some of the, the prettiest. Over the years, it's also been remodeled and had many separate rooms. And in redoing those rooms, it meant that we had areas that were missing hardwood flooring. In addition to that, we added some new hardwood flooring, which required us to lace in the new with the old and some special processing to get the two to blend so they look nice together. The front sunroom had a terrazzo floor that, again, through years of neglect and, and misuse, have, was really beat up and had some holes where the radiator had come through. So it needed to be patched and polished and it turned out absolutely glorious. The basement billiard room had a stone floor that uh, again was very neglected and we were able to grind that and polish it to a very nice sheen. As with any project, a team is very valuable. I honestly didn't have to do so much because the team is so great in this circumstance with the general contractor and designer being on the same page so much and the real estate agent on the front of the back side of the transaction. It was just easy. A project of this scope takes an amazing amount of planning and vision. The effort involved to resurrect a home of this caliber requires a talented team, a developer willing to think outside the box, a top-notch interior designer with an eye to the past, a contractor equipped with all of the right tools, both physically and mentally, and a capable agent whose mission it is to pair the perfect family with this perfect home. What an architectural gem and a modern masterpiece. This pristine renovation has been such a treat to see and to tour. Our special thanks to the entire team involved here and to you for joining in. Be sure to check online for other episodes and tune in next week for another great home tour right here on The Art of Home.